This video is a review of the chapter on gas properties in thermodynamics. So we start with the ideal gas equation of state, PV equals nRT, or PV bar equals RT, where the pressure times the molar volume equals the gas constant times temperature. The gas constant just relates energy and temperature between the constant 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. And we define the compressibility factor Z as the pressure times molar volume divided by R times temperature, which is equal to 1 for all ideal gases. And every gas behaves ideally in the limit that its pressure approaches 0. We then move to more advanced equations of state, like the Van der Waals equation of state, which includes a parameter A for the attractions between molecules, and B for their repulsions, or their effective molecular size. And that equation of state is pressure plus A over molar volume squared times molar volume minus B equals gas constant times temperature. Then we have the virial equation of state <clears throat> where the compressibility factor Z is defined as a Taylor series which is equal to 1 the ideal state plus successive corrections as a function of temperature the second virial coefficient divided by molar volume plus the third virial coefficient divided by molar volume squared, etc., etc., and a Taylor series of increasing polynomials in molar volume. You can alternatively define this in terms of pressure, which is inversely related to our molar volume, and then our virial coefficients are defined in terms of pressure rather than in terms of volume. Um, these non-ideal behaviors are determined by molecular interactions. It's by how the molecules interact with one another. And there are various models that you can use that are fairly simple to describe the basics of molecular interactions. The hard sphere model describes the potential as a function of separation as them being zero at long range and infinity at short range. So this is the molecules effectively have some excluded volume. You have the sphere, the square well potential, where the potential is zero at long range, minus epsilon, some parameter at medium range, and then infinity at short range. So this is a modified hard sphere with some attractive region in the middle. And then the Leonard Jones, which is widely used in molecular modeling, is that the potential is four times a parameter epsilon times, and there's a parameter sigma, where the interaction is equal to zero, where it crosses the axis, which is some distance. So you have sigma over r to the 12th minus sigma over r to the 6th, alternatively sometimes called a 612 potential for those polynomial powers. The critical point is defined as the point where the derivative of the pressure with respect to molar volume and its second derivative of pressure with respect to molar volume is equal to zero, both of those at constant temperature. And for the Van der Waals equation of state, if you define the parameters A and B relative to the value of the critical point, which is often how it's done, you get values for the critical volume, which is 3 times B, critical pressure A over 27B squared, and critical temperature 8A over 27BR, which are the only three exact uh, values where that critical point occurs. Then using the critical point, we can define reduced properties, reduced molar volume, pressure, and temperature, which is the corresponding property divided by its value at the critical point. And then we can substitute and solve the Van der Waals equation of state in terms of reduced properties, reduced pressure plus 3 over reduced volume squared times reduced volume, reduced molar volume minus 1 third equals 8 thirds times our reduced temperature. And this obeys the law of corresponding states that says for a given uh, for a given set of reduced values, all gases behave the same at that same set of reduced properties. <clears throat>